great Monday evening, June 14, 2021. To God be the glory for yet another closing of a beautiful day. Tonight, I did something that I haven't done in so long. I literally just watched the sunset, the closing of the day. And it was so beautiful how half, the lower half of the window showed the peach, the peach hues and the pink hues. And then the top three quarters of the window, just the different shades of blue. Oh my goodness, it was magnificent. It was just so calming. I hope you have a chance to do something like that. And a lot of us watch the sunrise, but something about the closing of the the opportunity that the Lord has given us. He is worthy to be praised from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same. For he had made this day, and we hopefully rejoiced in it. Uh, we are in Second Chronicles, the second chapter, and I had the opportunity to work diligently with my hands. And it's, it's ironic, but you know nothing is by accident because it had encouraged me so much because I always loved reading about Bezalel and Oholiab who were skilled artists and most importantly they were men of God and in the second chapter it talks about how a king came to visit Solomon and he was talking to Hiram the king of Tyre as thou didst deal with David my father, and didst him cedars to build him a house to dwell therein, even so deal with me. Behold, I built a house to the name of the Lord my God, to dedicate it to him, and to burn before him sweet incense, and for the continual showbread, and for the burnt offering morning and evening. We know that we might not be able to build a sanctuary or a tabernacle or a house even but we present our bodies a living sacrifice day and night which is our reasonable service and the house which i build is great and the lord has given us our temporary bodies and and it is great and that's why we have to be good stewards of our temple because this is the container of the Holy Spirit. So we have to be mindful what we put inside of it. We don't want to defile it. And I'm, I'm not going to name all the ingredients and things that will mess up this body. We know what it is. And we just have to be prayerful before we put anything inside of it, whether it's through our mouth, nose, eyes, because we want to just keep it pure and holy for the Lord because this goes back but we want to keep our spirit uh, undefiled and it said that Solomon requested workers he said send me now therefore I put a woman a woman and a man cunning to work in gold and silver and brass and iron and purple and crimson and blue that can skill to grave with the cunning men that are with me so he was looking for people who were qualified we're qualified because we're yielded we're yielded vessels <laughs> meet for the father's use and when we do that like i said god will have us to build great things and people will not believe that you are the chosen vessel and you have to remind them that yes it's not me it is the lord and you're just listening to directions and just watching his hand of mercy okay well i'm not sure if you got anything from second chronicles 2 but talking about building and orchestrating or being an architect or modeling or constructing in Proverbs 14, verse 1, every wise woman, every wise man, every person who lives within a residence, it is their responsibility to be great 
neighbors <laughs> internally, if you're living with someone, be a great roommate, uh, be honorable and respectful for one another. Yeah, because that's how you have a peaceful domicile. And it's a dwelling that honors the Lord. It says every wise woman, man, child, teenager, build their house, but a foolish one plucketh it down with their hands. We don't want to tear down what God has wanted for us to enjoy. And the Lord also wants us to represent him in our homes. The house of the wicked shall be overthrown, but the tabernacle, <laughs> that structure, whether it's an apartment, a condo, a trailer, whatever, the tabernacle of the upright shall flourish. And it's because the people within that house are honoring the Lord. What do you have to say about anything? Uh, verse 3, a fool's mouth lashes out with pride, but the lips of the wise protect them. That's just saying people who are wise are like slow down when they talk and they don't just lash out on emotions. Yeah, yeah. And that's part of the people you, you live with, you know, especially, you know, sometimes people can tear each other down when they're living in the same house. No, we want to build each other up with our words. And that goes back to the wise person constructs, not destructs, but they are one who will be instrumental and someone being strong in the Lord. All right, enjoy the presence of the Lord and know that he will assist you to make beautiful things for his glory. Good night.